the Lord's love for his people is immense. When we read through the various laws given in the Old Testament, we sometimes have the tendency to sigh and think, what a burden. And when we try to keep these laws in our own merit, by our own strength, for our own self-righteousness, well, sure, they are a burden. But please try and view these various laws of Deuteronomy chapter 24 as practical direction from a loving, godly parent. God wanted his people to avoid hurting themselves and avoid hurting each other. He also wanted them to take care of each other, and it's clearly obvious from this chapter. In verses 1 through 4, God wanted both marriage and divorce to be seen as serious, as a serious permanent thing. Someone couldn't be married or divorced casually. They had to be carefully thought out because it was permanent. The rest of this chapter, well, it's an assortment of laws, laws like Newlyweds should honeymoon for one year, being exempt from war and business. Why? So that the husband can bring happiness to their wives. Now, it's just my thought, but this may have prevented having to deal with the whole divorce issue in the first verses if they had done this, you know what I mean? Well, moving on in our passage, we're told those with leprosy, well, they're to go to the spiritual doctors first, to the priest where the Lord has given them specific direction. When someone lends to someone in need, they are not to take advantage of that person, but be a blessing to them. In verse 16, it essentially says that each person is responsible for his own actions. In verse 17, that we should be merciful, recognizing that God, well, he's been merciful to us. And chapter, the chapter closes in a fantastic way. The Lord implements a welfare system for those struggling or passing through. He establishes something called the right of the gleaner. Farmers were instructed not to completely harvest their fields so that some would be left behind for the hardworking poor or the refugees to gather up for themselves. This required the poor to be active and to work for their food. It made a way for them to provide for their own needs with dignity. Again, when you read back through this chapter and you move forward, try to view these laws given to Israel from the heart of a loving Father God. And may we recognize when we are taught or directed by God's word that we are greatly loved so that we can go and greatly love.